let's get this combat extravaganza underway. Ladies and yeah, gentlemen, yeah, 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 yeah. this is the main event title fight. Five rounds of five minutes. The referee in this fight is Daniel Sarivi. And here we go. Who knows what's going to happen in these first exchanges. In the last fight, we saw Tom Brees win via submission. But he's a man who's happy to fight anyway. Oh, look at that. He's, he's called out Jason Wilnes, as, uh, as he said. And Wilnes is somebody who's uh, got wins over Alex Pereira, Joe Schilling, Israel Sanya as well. So saying that he's up there and willing to exchange it on the feet with somebody like that. But when you look at what he can do on the feet, that he's got a lightning jab, a long jab. His jiu-jitsu has become what he's known for, competing on submission grappling shows like Polaris, things like that. But he has got one of the hardest jabs in the game. He finished KB Buller in the UFC Ooh, by a jab straight. alone. Right hand now from Sami. Yeah, and straight into a clinch here. I guess Breeze probably just trying to test out Sami's MMA credentials here. Trying having to feel this power. Precisely. Yeah, a friend of mine, Brad Pickett, he, uh, he said often, even if you wanted to strike with somebody, sometimes he would get a clinch just to feel. Just so he can answer the question, oh, he is that strong. Or maybe he looks big and muscly, but he's, he's, he's controllable. Uh, and, and maybe Tom Breeze just doing that, engaging getting a feel, you know, getting that question answered in his head. And it seems that way that he obviously initiated the clinch breeze, but now it's been reversed. And Sammy, even though he doesn't have the underhooks, is managing to keep Breeze against the cage here. One, they've both got an underhook each, so one over, one under. Short exchanges of these. I expect to see Breeze look to turn this around. Trying, but it looks good work from Sammy here, putting that shoulder pressure on uh, Breeze's head. As we said, Sammy's just one of these fighters that can just make it awkward. Like even in positions where you think, oh, I'm strong here, I've got, uh, this is where I'm used to being. Because he's unorthodox, and you think about coming from Egypt, you haven't got the, the biggest gyms over there, you haven't got the biggest training partners. So some of the stuff in between uh, what, what we would consider normal or... Um, uh, standards, MMA drills, positions, uh, you know, combinations. They kind of have to fill in the gaps themselves out there, which forms these uh, very unique fighters. Exactly. But like like Prosaka, you know, the champion in the yeah, UFC. Czech, Czech Republic. Yeah, a guy like that who doesn't have all the training partners, but he's got the mentality to train a lot and make more hours than the people that have the great gyms around them. Yeah. 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 Mm. And Sami is a guy like that as well. Just in a lot of that time, right, is where that's where creativity comes from, right? Where you have to, you know, create your own answers to problems that maybe other places they answer them for you. It also is that thing of wanting it, right? It's that because you can kind of watch it on the telly and go, yeah, that's that's great, but finding a way to to get it done, to get the work done any which way you want. I mean, there's that thing. If you if you want it, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. And people like Sammy are really a testament to that. I'm sure, and he's. <laughs> You mentioned earlier he's a, an orthodox and you know probably a frustrating fighter to go against and you can see that in this opening round so far he just kept Brees against the cage kneeing his legs kneeing his thighs just being a constant nuisance to uh Brees. and now they've broken up and we'll uh we'll see what these two fighters can do from this position yeah. you see sammy has got a really good counter attack you know he just waits for tom to step in and then counters you know he just throws something you see goes over the top goes below Goes from different angles. And yeah, it can hit, it can hurt. Oh, very nice uppercut from Reese. And then back to uh, the clinch against the cage. Yeah, one of the shots that Sammy was using was the uh, the elbow over the top as well. It wasn't actually yep. a, a, a glove strike he was looking for. He was throwing like a, a, a hook elbow over yep. the top. Yeah, first from below, right? And then yep. over the top. It's, it's, really, it's really smart. But again, those are good ones for, for a stepping in opponent. If somebody's closing the range for you, those those weapons are the ones that can, they're the hardest bones, they're the bones that can cause the biggest cuts. So it's, it's, it's clever choices. I mean, again, people might underestimate Sammy on paper, but he's, uh, he's, he's a much higher fight IQ than people give him credit for. Yeah, I mean, we've seen in this fight already exactly what the two of you are saying, where he's just shown himself to... Ooh, there's nice. a double underhook trip. Nice, very nice work from Breeze there. And listen, one list who uh, just won the lightweight title in the bout before said Renegade Jiu Jitsu uh, is, are doing bits. This is the key to Renegade Jiu Jitsu. This man, Tom Breeze, he is uh, he's a coach over there as well. And that's improved his game as well uh, as competing, teaching, coaching other fighters, breaking down moves, positions, understanding it on a clinical and a te technical uh, level. Really has evolved his game as well. So is he really 
teaching wellness? He teach, he's one of the head, he's like ah, the head coach over crazy. there. So he teaches uh, Leon Edwards, oh. Fabian Edwards, fighters like that. They credit him as one of the uh, the main coaches at Renegade. Crazy, and he's only 30 years old. Yeah. Don't forget that. Look at his elbows, though. And this seems Brees is getting a little bit more bang for his buck in this position. Just yeah. putting a little bit more damage on. Yeah, you see the damage on the face of Sami from the elbows. And the takedown was great as well. The clinch and then use that little trip, just like felling a tree, just dropping to the ground. And happy to work in guard as well. Yeah, a very patient round so far from Brees. And in many ways, Sami as well. I'm smiling at his opponent there. Look at <laughs> <laughs> So a, a very intriguing, a true chess match of the first round there, Yusri. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they first were just feeling out each other's power, and then I think Sami was was having it at that part. But then in the end, Tom just turned it around and, and, and got the takedown. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from this first round sponsored by Black Bananas. Brian, what are some of the key things we're uh, seeing here? So it was actually the, the fact that Sammy was able to hold Breeze against the cage. We saw Breeze react to it there, but Sammy kept engaging that clinch. But then Breeze eventually got the tail and lovely little uppercut. And again, if somebody's yeah, coming yeah. in looking to clinch you, those yeah, are the yeah. weapons you need if they're going to drop their head. And there's the takedown. Beautiful. Yeah. And then from here, this was the way he saw out the rounds. These short elbows, the amount of torque he gets on them. Yeah, really if Breeze good. can get it there, then, then it's his fight, man. He's, he's got so much control on the top, even in guard. So it'll be intriguing to see whether Breeze has got that advice and whether Pick he can on. now go and you know, force this fight to be where, it want, where he wants it to be. So this is our second round out of five in the first ever title defense in LFL. And this is the middleweight gold. Beautiful little Hard shot from Sammy. Yeah, yeah. Same again. Now that Breeze much more intent on looking for the take now not looking for the body lock finch looking for the single leg straight into side control lovely work and what do you how do you expect him to work from here well now he's in side control we saw what he could do from guard he's got an exquisite jujitsu game he, he has rolled and uh, beaten some high level uh, grapplers including the likes of andy clamp lee chadwick and what i see look for him now to do because he's got the time to do it is maintain control slowly progress the position and either look to, to take someone where he can either get that uh, the, the crucifix position for the lock, uh, the beat down, or get to mount and look for a submission. And he's really staying patient, really patient, just putting pressure. And he's staying very heavy on his hips, but lovely work from Sammy to get out of sight. Sammy was patient there. as well. You didn't see him really explode until the last second. Mm. And again, but Breeze just stays on him like a limpet. And look how technical he is. Sorry to talk there, Callum, but his head position was great. Right on the side of the chin, he was automatically taking the arm away to break the base. He knows exactly what to do. Again, it's that instinctive grappling, and, and Tom Breeze is such a high level. And it's intriguing. You mentioned uh, earlier that, you know, we've still got a lot of this round to go. Three and a half minutes still to come up, and Brees is exactly where he wants to be at this situation. That's the key, right? Be in a position where you can cause damage and you don't take damage. And also, when you're talking about taking something, cardio is is, is king in fights. And if you can make your opponent have to use oh. more energy, oh, he's he's got a, I don't know how deep it is, but he's oh, got he's a guillotine. Got a great guillotine. He has got a phenomenal he guillotine. Needs, he needs to get his left leg over. Doesn't necessarily oh, he's he's got got that. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Tom Brees defends his middleweight belt, wins by a guillotine. What a just what a calm, authoritative performance and, there. And he just needed one bite at the apple. He just waited for that one shot. You talk about composure, patience. He took that neck beautifully, and it was only when it was given. He didn't force it. He never did anything where he had to... Uh, you know, risk himself to take that finish and to get it in that way. And you saw the respect between the two at the end. Tom Breeze knows that that was a, that was a difficult, awkward, tough fight that he had there. And the, he's come through again with the shining colors. Um, how, did, how did you view Breeze's performance there, Yusri? Great performance. Like, like yeah, we, we, we talked about the feeling out at, at the start, but, but also he really found the key to victory when he got in this in this guard and, and putting the pressure and probably he felt like from there he could win the fight so when he got there again now in the second round he just worked positions and then when he got the neck he didn't take it like he just said he got the neck and he just snapped he just got it leg over and finished and we're seeing the highlights here again sponsored by black bananas and we can just see just the slow, methodical, calm approach of Tom Brees here. Wonderful single leg takedown there. Move to side control, which Sammy eventually escaped. 
but then Tom just stayed on him. And here we go, we can see Beautiful gets the arm under there and gets the guillotine choke. Beautiful. Just didn't look like he was putting any any effort in that whatsoever. Yeah. He went into flow mode and just, just went to his ground skills and got the tap. A beautiful fight. And then let's go have our official announcement for this evening's main event. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. By submission in the second round, the winner stands in the red corner, Tom Breeze. Now we're going to hear from Tom on his first title defense also, of LFL. An applause for Ahmed Sami. Oh, he's just getting a little photo work. Tom Breeze, reigning, defending, are. middleweight champion. Got to feel good, right? Oh, it feels great, yeah. Uh, big thank you to LFL for, for getting me a strong opponent to test my skills against. Uh, are you surprisingly strong, right? Like, he's got a, a good grappling game. The elbows are coming off over the top as well. Uh, a legitimate opponent for your first defense. Yeah, he's a, he's a brilliant Muay Thai fighter. Um, you could see with the elbows, you're catching me with elbows, but I bring the pressure, man. I'm not going to give anyone any, any space, any time in there. I'm going to keep forcing the action and, and wear on them. Uh, there's, there seems to be a huge amount of confidence with you at the minute. It feels like you're mentally you're in a fantastic place. Physically, you look great. You look at the decisions you're making in the cage under pressure. It feels like it's all coming together. What, what do you attribute that to? I'm getting more mature, you know. I've... I've trained for 15 years, 16 years now in martial arts, and you know, just persistence will, will get you there. Uh, a renegade jiu-jitsu doing bits, right? That's what he said. Two belts going back to Birmingham. You've got to be proud of that. That's it. Two, two belts going back to renegade. Big up Akon for his, for his title win today. Uh, and then finally, Levels Fight League. They're giving you amazing fights. They've given you a beautiful belt. What's it mean to fight in a promotion like this? Great promotion. I only see big things coming from LFL. Uh, got Donovan, he, he's a, he, there's a great mind behind it, and he's going he's gonna to do big things. Listen, you're already doing big things. Defending champion. Honor to call your fight, my friend. Give it up one more time. Your champ, Tom Breeze. Tom Breeze out here building an LFL legacy to already go on top of his incredible fight achievements.